What up guys, welcome back to Chronic Eats. I got this uh, pork shoulder, I believe it is. It was given to me by Cappy. She said it was in the freezer or sitting in the fridge and I should use it. And she said it was pork shoulder and I believe her. So that's what I'm going with. Anyway, I have this bag. It says Thai chili. That's my uh, handwriting on there but it's no longer Thai chili in there. I made a rub. There's like garlic, chipotle, seasoning, uh, brown sugar, garlic, salt, pepper, a little bit of cumin, like a bunch of shit. Another canister I found in the cupboard called barbecue rub, so I don't know exactly what's in there, but I have a feeling it's gonna be turn out excellent. Know what I mean? So I scored it with a bunch of this knife a few times all over the place. Put a bunch of the rub on there. I'm gonna put some Worcestershire on there and uh, we're gonna grill this for at least a couple hours. It's pretty early. It's 3 3.09 right now, so I might get like three or four hours out of this. We'll see. I'm thinking about uh, doing a uh, butter butter pork butter pork shoulder you know what I mean it doesn't always have to be chicken you guys so we're gonna hook it up Let's watch what happens we'll be back got this thing going right here give it a 10 more minutes or so it's been like five minutes already and it should be good to go I'll be back to show you that okay that's what you want to see guys, fire coming up, we go a few more minutes and then dump it in, throw this bad boy on, get this show started, yeah buddy, it's about that time, just like that guys, put the grate on, get that warmed up, burning off the uh, shit from last night, you know what I mean? fucking hot. I try to get all my shit on one side because I'm going to smoke it out on the other side. You'll see. You don't know what I mean. And shit's hot. I got to use a little stick to fucking get it over there and try to stack it a little bit, you know. So I'll let this go for a couple minutes. Burn that shit off and then put this on. It's been marinating for a good 15 minutes. Worcestershire and that rub I was talking about. Uh, by the way, there's also smoked paprika in there. Yeah, yeah, guys. Let's get this show started. And there it is, guys. I'm doing like 10 minutes of side here. Uh, we got four sides. We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, and then just put it on this side for the remainder of three hours or whatever time you got. You know what I mean? It's gonna be awesome. You butter pork. Yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah. Look at it now, you guys. Yeah, all seared to perfection. Now I got this open. I can put a little piece of wood on there to smoke it out under this. Yeah. Alright, let's get back to it. All right, guys, uh, here I am uh, two and a half hours later, uh, putting the pot ingredients together. Those are yams in there, with onions, and garlic, and ginger. Yeah, and that pork roast is still going out there uh, for another half hour or so, we'll make it three hours. I'll start putting it together. Yeah, buddy. Chicken cheese on uh, what's going on right here. I have previous videos on uh, butter chicken. I've done a butter pork video as well. I've done a butter lamb video. So here we go. Go scroll back. Find that video if you're confused or just comment and ask me if you need help. Alright guys, 
here's what we're dealing with after two and a half hours. Look at that shit, dude. Look at that char. That beauty. Go around here. Yeah, look at that bark on there, dude. Fucking awesome. Fucking incredible, dude. So I'm gonna let this smoke out a little more. Like another half hour, and then we'll put it all together. Yeah. Check it, check it. Getting smoky again. So when you're doing this, you gotta check it like every 15 minutes. Make sure the smoke didn't go out or the fire, because that lid on will kind of kill the fire a little bit. So you gotta make sure it's going, get some air in there every once in a while. Throw on some more wood chips and keep it going. Yeah, yeah. Huh, girls? Huh, Paris? Paris? What's up? Yeah. Kicking in with me all day. Look at them, they're so cool. Such sweethearts. Yeah. Are you hot today? It's been like 85 today or something like that. Yeah, but we're gonna make it. That's basically why we're cooking outside. We don't want to turn on no ovens inside, you know? OMG. That shit, guys. That is fucking amazing. Oh my god. Got that smoke ring. Check that shit out, guys. Oh my goodness. Fucking amaze balls, yo. Jeez, okay, let me get to chopping. Yeah, motherfuckers, it's all in there. So I'm gonna let this stew for like another 20 minutes and we'll be good to go. I'm using some leftover rice we had. Dirty rice, Mexican rice, uh, did it with the uh, Berea we did last week, or Cinco de Mayo, and I got some of that consomme in there, and mix it up. Easy, easy, guys, motherfucking easy. Yeah, there it is, guys. Money shot. The fucking thumbnail, dude. Check that out. Fucking yams. Onions, fucking cilantro. Oh my god, dude. This is my second helping. Shit was so good, dude. Almost forgot the video to tape it for you. But anyway, there we go. Uh, please smash that like and subscribe button. Please share with the world all that cringy YouTube crap. And I will see you guys next time. Chronic Heats out. Thanks for watching. Peace.